Hello and welcome to this rules overview video for Seven Wonders Architects. Before explaining the rules, we wanted to point out that this game accommodates colorblind players by giving each color its own symbol. Seven Wonders Architects is a game for 2 to 7 players, ages 8 and up, played in about 25 minutes. In Seven Wonders Architects, you only have one thing in mind. Construct a wonder so magnificent it will leave your mark on history. But before we start teaching, we need to set up the game. Each player chooses a tray and removes everything inside. Assemble the five stages of your wonder, referring to the diagram on your tray. Shuffle your cards, put them face up in your holder and put it between you and the left player. Next, shuffle the common cards to make a central face-down deck. Shuffle the progress tokens and make a face-down stack. Reveal the top three tokens of the stack. Check this table and place the required conflict tokens on the table, piece side up. In this example of a three-player game, you would need three conflict tokens. Then make a reserve of military victory tokens. Finally, place the cat near the central deck. Now that setup is done, we can start the game. The goal of the game is to gain the most victory points. You can gain victory points in a variety of ways through cards that represent different characters. The game ends as soon as someone completes their wonder. The player with the most victory points wins the game. Going clockwise and starting with the youngest player, the game plays over a series of turns. On your turn, choose a card from the three available, those being the top card of the deck directly to your left, the top card of the deck directly to your right, the top card of the central deck. Place your chosen card in front of you and do its effect. Your turn is now over. There are five types of cards. Grey provides resources. Yellow provides coins. Blue provides victory points. Green provides science symbols. Red provides shields. Here are the different card types in more detail. Each grey card provides one resource that you will use to construct the stages of your wonder. Each stage of your wonder requires multiple resources, each either different or identical. For example, to construct the first stage of this wonder, you must have two different resources. You will construct your wonder step by step, always starting from the bottom. In this example, two stages are already constructed. Two are available to construct, and the last one cannot be constructed yet. Careful! If you have the resources required to construct an available stage, you must construct it on your turn. You cannot save resources for later. Discard any cards you used and flip the stage over to its constructed site to immediately use its special effects. Yellow cards provide coins that act as wild resources. They automatically replace any missing grey card that would be required to construct a stage of your wonder. In this example, you already have two different resources and draw a coin. You must construct the available stage since you now have three different resources. Blue cards provide victory points. Some of them also have an icon that lets you take the cat token from wherever it is on the table. Place it in front of you. As long as you have the cat token at the start of your turn, you can secretly look at the top card of the central deck before choosing your card for the turn. Green cards provide science symbols that let you gain progress tokens. As soon as you have two identical or three different science symbols, you must discard those cards and choose one of the four available progress tokens, meaning either one of the three face-up tokens or the token on top of the face-down stack. If you choose one of the face-up tokens, immediately replace it with the top token of the stack. 
place the chosen progress token in front of you and immediately use its effect through the end of the game. On your turn, you can use your progress tokens whenever you want and in any order you choose. They can only be used once per turn, with the exception of tokens that provide victory points. Those will only be used at the end of the game. Red cards provide shields that increase your military strength. Some also have one or two horn icons. As soon as you take a red card with one or two horn icons, flip over one or two conflict tokens respectively to their battle side. Make a horn sound when you take this action. Bum -ba -da -dum. When you flip the last conflict token to its battle side, a battle for all players is triggered at the end of your turn. When a battle is triggered, count the number of shields you have and compare the total to your neighbor's shields. For each opponent, if you have more shields than them, take a military victory token. In a two-player game, there is a small exception, which you can see on page 5 of the rulebook. Once all the conflicts are resolved, discard all red cards that have one or two horn icons. Then flip over all the conflict tokens to their peace side. In this example, you have two shields. The player to your left doesn't have any, so you have more than him. You gain a military victory token, but he does not. The player to your right has three shields, so she has more than you. She gains a military victory token, but you do not. She also gains a second military victory token, since she has more shields than the player to her right. All players then discard their red cards with horns. Finally, the three conflict tokens are flipped back to the peace side. When a player constructs the final stage of their wonder, the game is over at the end of that player's turn. Add up the victory points shown on the constructed stages of your wonder. The cat token if you have it. Your blue cards. Your military victory tokens. And your progress tokens. The player with the most points wins the game. And there you have it. You are now ready for your first game of Seven Wonders Architects. Keeping the rulebook nearby, the last page has an overview of all the wonder and progress token effects. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you have fun playing Seven Wonders Architects.